Kimi spent hours and hours on social media. He's addicted. He doesn't stop. He needs to fulfill his ego by posting stories every day on the things he's doing and where he's at. Whenever he goes somewhere, Timmy takes a picture and directly posts it on Instagram instead of enjoying the moment. He, ne he needs to show to people that <laughs> he has a life and he loves what is he doing. His life is perfect. But in reality, Timmy is a piece of shit. He used the hashtag peace and love on Instagram, but he doesn't enjoy his life at all. He doesn't work out. He's sad. He thinks that if he gets less than 100 likes in a post, nobody gives a shit about him. When even if he gets more than 100, nobody gives a shit about him. This is the thing that he still doesn't fucking understand. And this cycle repeats again and again. And Timmy doesn't even realize that. But Levi... Wait, Levi, Levi doesn't use social media. Wait, hold on, there's something wrong with the script. He knows that these apps are bullshit and that they are manipulating us. Indeed, it doesn't help him to be a man of purpose and objective and enjoy his life. That's why he goes outside, takes on pictures, but he doesn't post them on social media. He just keeps them for, for himself and his family. He doesn't see the point of taking pictures and sending them to everyone. He doesn't see the point of showing what is he doing every fucking 30 minutes. If your Instagram account doesn't have a big impact on people, or maybe it doesn't help you financially, you can delete Instagram. You don't need it. That's the video. There is nothing more I can say. I removed all my social media two months ago because I wasn't seeing the point of using them anymore. First of all, I was always anxious about my amount of likes. I was hiding behind them. When I wasn't doing, for example, let's say 50 likes, unconsciously I will tell to myself, oh, everyone, everyone hates me. I, w I would just get stressed and that will just fuck my brain. Even if that was just a gym account where I was posting myself going to the gym. I wasn't helping that much of people, I think. Maybe two or three people or that thanked me on DMs because I motivated them to go to the gym, but that's it. Indeed, the thing that I was posting on Instagram was advices and motivational videos. However, I am still in my learning part in life, so it will be better for me to keep silence and learn new things before cashing out. Get more knowledge before giving advices to people. I will just give advices on YouTube about the mistake that I've made and how am I improving. This will help me to get better edits, better storytelling and many things that, are, that will improve in my life and also for business. The final thing that I will be telling about Instagram is that so many people are faking their lives. They only show maybe one hour of the day, which is completely great, fun. They don't show the 22 other hours where their life is shit, they are doing nothing, maybe they're editing, maybe they are having family issues, but unconsciously we think that their 1% of life is their life every day. So as a 17 year old, I don't see the point of comparing myself to others on Instagram. I don't, I don't see the point of comparing myself to people that only show the best part of their, of their life when I'm currently in a learning path. I will only compare myself to people that I know in real life and myself. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope that I will be part of the movement of self-improvement and that I will help people to get a better life. I don't know, even if my videos only do 20 views, I hope that I will get more views and impact more people in the future. I love you boys. Peace out.